I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm joined by the one and only Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV. Um, what do you think about this influencer scene coming into boxing? It's brilliant. 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 Yeah, yeah, love it, man. You know what I mean? Um, these guys, the shows they put, I mean, you've only got to look around and see how many people are here. You know, um, and, you know, when I look at KSI, the amount of training he's put into it, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, fantastic. It's not, listen, it would never take away from you know, what the true professionals do. But I think something like this brings people into boxing. Fair enough, fair enough, Robbie. Uh, in terms of traditional boxing, we're still waiting on announcements of Fury Usyk, Joshua's next fight, etc. But um, you think we're gonna have a big year in 2023 for, for boxing fans? Yeah, I mean, we wanna see those big fights. You know what I mean? I, I was hearing that the Usyk one was gonna happen in March. Oh, Saudi Arabia. Right, Saudi Arabia, you know what I mean? And I think that'd be a great fight. I think that'd be a great fight and I want to see, the one I want to see though is I want to see Joshua. I want to see Joshua and Fury. That's Do you really think that'll happen though? They've tried to make it three times yeah, now. I don't know man. Who knows but those, I think that's the only thing wrong with boxing sometimes is that those, those fights that everybody wants to see, sometimes they don't happen or they happen too late. But that's the one I want to see. Who do you think wins out of Fury and Usyk? Fury. I just think the Fury, um, even though I think with Usek he was very awkward for, for Joshua, but I think Fury's kind of awkward as well. And um, and he's a bigger, he's stronger, and he's so confident. You know, I think still think Joshua's confidence is a little bit knocked, but I think Fury, I think Fury probably not knock him out, but dominate him. Just the last one from me, Robbie. I can't really go at the moment because I'm a Chelsea fan and we're right in the mud at the moment. You're not doing very well, but I'm just, we're just taking Murich off you. 100 something odd million. What do you think? Well, listen, you know what I mean? Chelsea, your owners are doing a madness at the moment. It's not really getting him anywhere. And what I say to Mudrick, he's obviously got no ambition if he wants to go and play for a team in 10th place. But listen, it is what it is. We move on to the next target. Arsenal are doing brilliant at the moment, man. Um, and uh, let's hope we beat Tottenham tomorrow. You know what I mean? That's a big game. A lot of my mates saying Potter out already. What do you think about that? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, thank you for your time. Goodbye. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.